offense having so many injuries, especially quarterback last week, how much pride does that give your defense to really step up and give the effort that you guys did for four quarters? <laughs> yeah, uh, as a defense, you know, we feel like we want to be, you know, the guys that this time this team leads on. So um, no matter how the offense does, good or bad, we just want to be, you know, good every time we step out on the field. Honestly, we heard so much about Nate and the problems that he gives you guys as a scout team quarterback. How much is that, and, and were you surprised at all with what you saw on Saturday? Uh, I think that's why Coach Narduzzi puts, you know, guys on a scout team to see, you know, if they can really – and, you know, get ready to play because, you know, we're we're one of those type of defenses that, you know, do really well in pressuring the quarterback and things like that. So, you know, when Nate being a scout quarterback and really, like, maintaining the uh, scout offense or whatever, he does a good job. So I, I wasn't surprised at all about his performance on Saturday. How does a win, like, against Western Michigan after you're coming after, uh, off of a tough overtime loss to Tennessee – and you have so many players that are injured and get injured during the game. How much does that, like, vault you guys forward? Um, yeah, uh, any win feels good. Uh, our defensive coordinator, Coach Bates, you know, he, every time we win a game, he come up in our room and lets us know it's not it's not easy to win a game. So, you know, no matter who we play or what it is, like, uh, be happy that you won a game and, you know, let's just keep moving forward. The last time we spoke with you was after the West Virginia game, and you kind of talked about how the linebackers as a whole didn't play to their best of their abilities. How do you think that group has progressed over the last couple of weeks? We're definitely growing. Um, Coach Manny, he's, he's, he's getting on us about, you know, certain things and making sure, you know, we do things better. But, yeah, we're growing as a group and we're growing as individuals, really. I think Ollie seems like he's really settled in as an outside backer, as a starter, and – Tell, tell us a little bit about how he's working and, you know, kind of building with that group. Yeah, uh, Bengali, he understands game tempo, game speed now. So um, he's working his, his tail off, really. He's in the film room. He's on the field doing extra work and the weight room doing everything he can. Bengali, he, he understands the game and, and how fast it moves and how strong and physically ready he needs to be. That's the thing Coach Narduzzi mentioned with Bengali was that he got used from practice speed to game speed and how different it is. How big of an adjustment is that at first, or how big of it was it for you at first, at least? <laughs> uh, well, I want to I want to put this in Bengali's perspective. During practice, you know, uh, we have some people watching, not too many, but then that first game was seventy thousand. So it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of getting used to. But yeah, uh, he's been doing a good job lately. Like I said. And, you know, he's, he's letting the game come to him instead of, you know, letting it move too fast. Some people have said, maybe it was even you, that Coach Manilak is almost like a Narduzzi clone. <laughs> In what way are they alike? Uh, they're, they're too much alike. Uh, they both, well, Coach Manilak was obviously coached by Coach Narduzzi. So, right. you know, when, when you're coached by Narduzzi, uh, you, you take a lot of traits from him, especially when you go into coaching. So... You see a lot of similarities. They're good guys. They bring the energy. They bring the juice. And they're tough. They're tough coaches. So they love you up as well. But they're definitely tough coaches. How is Coach Manilak tough? Uh, so <laughs> this is funny now because you know we won the game and it's over. But West Virginia week, um, he was like chirping a little bit. And you know West Virginia is their their famous line when it comes to pit is eat blank pit whatever. He was saying that all practice all uh, meeting, all practice, and, like, he was really, like, trying to get us to basically, like, be pissed off at him or, you know what I mean? So uh, he just makes sure that when the game comes or when anything, any adversity happens, he's ready. Why? Because he makes it He makes it for us every day. Did it make you mad? Did yeah, you of, of course, of course, uh, definitely. You guys won by three touchdowns on the road with your fourth-string quarterback but went down a spot in the rankings. Does that piss you guys off at all, or are you not even focused on it? <laughs> yeah, we're not focused about the rankings. We're just focused about going 1-0 each week, uh, getting better, and really coming together as a team. Boss, you, you said that Ryan has picked up some tendencies from, from Pat. Have you? <laughs> I might have, uh, but I want to say yes outside of football because, you know, uh, that's what a head coach wants to do. He wants to – make sure we're ready for life as men and not just, you know, football. So I think so outside of, life, uh, outside of football. But football, it's getting there, but it's, <laughs> I don't want to say I'm there yet. What kind of things outside of football have you uh, just, for him? Just really just the class stuff. Just, you know, be respectful, be yourself, clean up after yourself. Uh, just basically being a grown man outside of here. 
Coach Narduzzi said maybe one day he'll hire you as a coach. Would you be interested in oh, that? Of course, of course. And uh, I've actually talked to Coach Medelak about it. I said, listen, when you get into Coach Narduzzi's position, make sure you hire me. <laughs> so, <laughs> what do you say? I, I joke. I joke with those guys all the time. What did he say? Yeah. He said, we'll think about it. He'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. Down the line. Plus, well, there's obviously history with Coach Narduzzi in Rhode Island, him playing there and coaching there. Is that something you guys are talking about in the locker room at all? Uh, yeah, I tried to, I tried to bust his chops the other day. I said, oh, this is a good way to get your alma mater some money. So, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we're just ready to play the game. Really, uh, he's excited for it. He has a lot of friends coming to watch the game, and you know, we're just ready to play. Really, Foss, what, what allows Eric Hallett to make some of the plays that, that he does? Uh, the looks in practice, really. Um, we try to get tough looks in practice. Like I said, create adversity. Make sure, you know, guys are ready for Saturday and whatever is thrown at him. So he does a good job in practice. Uh, he's really focused. He's really a seasoned vet. You know, he, you know, he's been here for a while, so he knows how to practice and play. So I know you guys but, don't want to overlook any opponent, but this isn't Tennessee or West Virginia. You guys are playing this Saturday. With that in mind, what are some things that you're looking to see as far as progress on Saturday from both, you know, the linebackers and the defense as a whole? Definitely. Uh, well, me, I know I want to really focus on a lot of techniques and fundamentals. Uh, I think the linebackers as well, we just want to come together as a group, like I said earlier, and really play it together, play football, um, and just have winning performances. And as a defense, we just want to be a great defense, uh, shut down defense. We don't want to let anything slide, anything like that. So we just want to you know, play good pit football. Chris, did you want the last one? Sure. Voss, Quince talked to us about yesterday about the bub passes and trying to shut that down. They did a great job of that against mm -hmm. Western Michigan. How does that help you guys in the middle play more focused? And is that something that you guys try to do every week, or is that something that you guys specialized against Western Michigan? Uh, I want to say, you, you know, we have a game plan, and we try to focus on our game plan. And, you know, whatever those guys do on the outside, it definitely helps us in the middle is because if they could shut that down, and we're just worried about our job in the middle. Everybody's, you know, focused on literally their job. And, and if, if I'm just worried about the middle, I'm not worried about anything. <laughs> Thank you, Sarasia. Thanks, Thanks.